I never see the Medal of Honor until 44 years later. I didn't ever think that I did enough to earn the Medal of Honor. It's the highest recognition for valor that you can get. Because I didn't even think that I was worthy of it. Uh, our job was to fight, and that's what we did. If I was in the same situation, I would do it all over again, without hesitation. Everyone should have the opportunity to go to Mars Hour because of the fact that it proved that the so-called slaves, the African-Americans, they could go into battle and fight to the end. William Carney was born in 1840 uh, as a slave. He managed to escape. He had the chance to win his freedom, not to be a slave anymore, to be a man, and he wanted to prove that that was who he was. And when they all joined the 54th, even though their conditions weren't the same as the other soldiers, Carney was very dedicated. And when Colonel Shaw asked, well, who would pick up the flag if I should fall? He was one of the first ones to say he would. And he did. I admire William Carney. And that is someone if I would have known beforehand would have gave me an inspiration to fight a little harder. I was a part of what they call a mobile strike force. And our job is to search for the enemy and destroy them. When the bullets pass by you, you hear a crack. Once you hit a crack, you know you're not shot, but it's close. As the artillery rounds, they come in. The bigger the shells, the more noise they make. And it's terrifying. I'm bringing up the rear, and I get a radio telephone call that my team sergeant had been killed. I told myself, I've got to take charge. It's on me now, I'm the senior person. I got to recover all the bodies. So I moved forward, and by luck, I come right to the area where the team sergeant had been killed. The woods opened up, they got hit. And then I knew it was bad. So what I did is I got hand grenades. I got two bags full. And I went in myself. And I threw hand grenades in every bunker I could find. Come back out, got team side body out. When they get the body out, the map case fell out of his pocket. The mission was accomplished with getting him out. But now I got to get that map case. I could have left it, but I would give the enemy a lot of valuable information. So I got to go back again. Found a map case. When I picked up the map case, I got shot in the chest. I screwed up behind a tree for cover. They're, still, they're trying to shoot the tree down. I got shot in the arm, in the right arm. I saw one more enemy, I had one hand grenade. I didn't feel the pain in the right arm. I threw the hand grenade, then I got shot again. So I'm shot three times, and they're still trying to get me. So I grabbed my weapon, and I fired every magazine I had, and I started to run. I have no ammunition, I have no bullets, I have nothing. And I didn't feel no pain. I didn't even know how, how I could run that far with three bullet holes if I did. That was my duty, my honor, for God and country. On the 18th of March, 2014, I went to the White House. 
received the Medal of Honor, received it from President Obama. It was an exhilarating feeling. I just can't describe it. I've always had a philosophy that I can't fit into another Medal of Honor recipient's shoes. Reason why I say that, each Medal of Honor recipient, his battle is different. William Carney, he wanted to be a freed man. And that was a, a motivation for them to fight and fight hard. Colonel Shaw was moving forward with the flag. He got shot. He got killed. William Carney grabbed the flag because he did not want that flag to hit the ground. Carney was shot again and again and again, but he continued to move with the flag. But long as the flag flies, there's a motivation of the men that we are not defeated, we're still fighting. They had to actually wrench that flag from his hand. And one of the statements he made is, I did not let the flag hit the ground. William Carney's action was in uh, 1863. He didn't receive the Medal of Honor until 1900. It's important for us to know William Carney's story because it shows that if we are given uh, the same rights and privileges, we're willing to fight for our country. What kept him going was pride, their honor, and their duty for their freedom. If we don't save the, these hallowed grounds, then our children and our grandchildren and our children after their children will not know anything about our history. Our legacy, our honor, our patriotism is based on our history. You know, I got a lot of work ahead of me. But I have a message to, to share. Uh, the young children need to know that people out there, we put our lives on the line for them every day. And so that's what I do. That's my work.